here and today I will be showing you guys how to make your own pattern using GIMP. I don't know how you found this video whether you hit the annotation on my last video where I showed you how to make a background or you just want to know how to make a pattern for no reason. Yeah, no reason at all. Okay so let's get started. First open up a new tab and don't pay um, as I was saying open up a new tab and yeah, go in GIMP. Okay, I'm waiting for GIMP to load. Sorry, guys, I have a little cold. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. I really need those views. Please, please, I'm begging you guys. Okay, my fellow viewers, please subscribe. If you're not on YouTube, sign up and then subscribe to my channel. And, okay. For those of you who haven't seen my new, um, for those of you guys who haven't seen my new intro, YouTube introduction, yeah, I have a new one. You, you could. Yeah, I have a new one. You guys can look at it right now. Just go back to the starting of the video. And first thing we're gonna do is hit file, hit new, and the width and the height should both be 20. Hit okay. And we're gonna bucket fill that with the color black. Yeah, just click that. And I'm gonna zoom in. Either you can just hit this and zoom in. Or you can just pull down and control button and zoom in. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a rectangle. Since we've done that, done that already, we're gonna change this up and bucket fill again. Doesn't make any sense, doesn't it? Yeah, but we need that. We're gonna make a rectangle in the upper left hand corner. Um, it should be six by six, as you can see. You can just look at those two sixes that I will highlight right now. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Six by six. Then go down on the gradient tool. Pick any two colors. It's recommended that you pick black. But I'm just going to pick red and yellow. I really don't care. There's, nothing's going to happen if you don't pick black. Uh, hold on, control button to make it straight. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So what we're gonna do now is click on your gimp. Um, as you guys could see, I just paused it because that's why I prefer to do my videos in the night because of my family. They just keep on barging in my room. So let's continue. What we're going to do is hit this brush icon and scroll down and right beside of that pepper icon, you should see a little dot right here and just click on it. What we're going to do is we're going to, since we're on red now, I'm just going to click, just do what I do, click on the side. Doesn't look like anything's happening, right? Yeah, something's happening. And yeah, you can now see it happening. Um, and now I'm going to switch color and do the same thing that I just did. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Undo that paintbrush. Undo that. Yeah. Oh. There's something wrong again. Undo. Undo. Okay, okay, okay. And now, as you can see, this is how it looks. And now what we're going to do now is just to hit, go on edit and hit copy and press paste at the same time and just, oh shit, um, just click on this and move it out 
you're gonna drag this one down to a half and we're just gonna paste that again click edit hit paste and we're gonna drag this one up and now what we're gonna do is hit the anchor button to anchor it down that little anchor button that you could see right there click on it to anchor it down and now we're gonna cut this video okay cut it and that is now your pattern so just press enter and that is your pattern guys so I'm gonna show you how to save it hit save as and type in anything I'm gonna type in YouTube viewers and dot pat dot pat it must be dot pat you to viewers dot pat and go on to my C drive and go into my users go into my name user go into GIMP and go into patterns and hit save save most what, what, what most of you okay. I'll just wait for this to load yeah it's bad now what most of you guys do is you guys think that you have to restart GIMP for the pattern to, to be seen or be visualized or be used but you guys were wrong you can just hit windows dockable dialog dockable dialogues hit patterns or any other thing if you add a new brush you can hit brush and just do what I'm doing hit patterns and as you can see just look for the pattern the pattern that I made um, this is it just refresh that page and as you can see it's been made into a pattern you can do the same for GIMP brushes let me show you guys um, just hit brushes pick any new brush um, once 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 you just put it in there you just pick any new brush and refresh it it doesn't matter you don't have to restart it and now as you can see when I hit my bucket fill tool and pattern it's right there see I changed it it's right here here it is and yeah see guys it's nothing hard anyway. and as you can see it can't be pressed on it because that's original pattern so it won't work if I press on it got a bad cold here um remember you guys to subscribe please I need these views I've told you guys before and peace bye